All right, so I want to start the video off by saying that sometimes I can be really dumb, and this video is one of those times, so make sure you watch the full video for some interesting content. Uh, so I stumbled across a post on Reddit a few days back that was talking about pirate implings selling extremely high, and at the time, they were like selling for 1.7 mil each, which is a lot for an impling. I'd always liked implings, and I used to open them a lot back in the day. If you remember, kingly items were peak fashion skate back in the day so many people were wearing kingly items the you know gowns and crown so I was like hmm are implings good money again or are they good to hunt or open if you don't know pirate implings actually drop a few various items that are notable such as an agility arena ticket which can be used to buy something called a left pirate hook and then you can also get the right pirate hook from the impling itself although rarely now on reddit it was noted that these hooks were going for from like 100 mil to 200 mil each, and that pirate implings were essentially a big gamble. So, of course, me being me, I had the brightest idea to go ahead and test my luck on these myself, and well, you'll see what happens. So I ended up overpaying for these implings because someone was instantly buying these for like 2 mil each for some reason. I'm not sure if they were having the same idea as me, but I ended up buying two of them for over 400 mil. You're welcome to whoever caught all those pirate implings. And when opening these, I was dumb and forgot to record, so me being dumb seems to be a theme of this video. So at this point, you would think after forgetting to record opening 200 of these implings, I would just scrap the video idea and pretend it never happened. But no, I went and bought 50 more implings just to have a clip for this video. So if you're counting at home, that's 500 million spent on pirate implants. Implings. Well, after opening these up, you don't really get too much that's notable except coins, sharks, and potentially the pirate hooks and the agility tickets. You also get something called the stuff, which can be used to brew mature ales, which is decent money, I believe, but it does take a long time to actually do. So we ended up not getting a single pirate hook from any of the 250 implings, but wait, I do have a ton of agility tickets from this, so let's see what we can actually do with those. So you get a ton of these agility tickets from opening these, the same ones you get for doing the Brimhaven agility course, and they can be used to purchase agility XP, but can also be used to purchase one of the pirate hooks. So we ended up getting close to a thousand tickets, and we could buy a grand total of one pirate hook. Well, we might as well buy it at this point, so I ended up buying the pirate hook, and now it's time to see if my genius gamble paid off. So we ended up chucking that sucker on the GE, and boom, it sold for 80 mil. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is a grand total of a 420 mil GP loss. Not bad for a few minutes work. In all seriousness though, this was just something I wanted to do for fun and I fully expected to lose a lot of money unless you just go and open like a few implings hoping to get lucky and get one of those hooks. This is almost certainly not worth it at these prices. Maybe if you go and slowly buy the implings for super cheap over months and months and yes, but doing what I did, you're just basically burning your money, but I did it so you wouldn't have to. So yeah, again, to anybody thinking about doing this themselves, I would highly, highly not recommend it. You're probably gonna lose a ton of money. Now, something I did think of was maybe pirate implings would be good money to actually go and hunt. You can actually hunt them in Puro Puro. From what I've seen though, it seems that the implings are pretty rare, meaning that they don't spawn that often. And if any of you have done Puro Puro, I've done it on old school RuneScape, it's kind of annoying. It's a bit of a grind. You have to move around a lot, always be looking out. Your eyes are gonna be strained looking for different types of implings, especially on RuneScape 3 when there's not like an overlay or something to tell you what the implings are. So maybe you can actually make a little bit of money if you go hunt for pirate implings and find other implings like dragon implings and stuff like that, but you're not going to make like, you know, 50 mil an hour or anything crazy because the implings are semi-rare, but it could be something to note, or if you for some reason have a lot of pirate implings in your bank or something, uh, you should know they're actually worth a decent amount. So yeah, this was a pretty short video, but I thought it would be a fun thing to do. Again, not a super serious one, but I thought it was fun. So if you like content like this, make sure to subscribe for more. We're super close to 30k, so if we can hit that, that would just be amazing. And yeah, make sure to leave a like on the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.